an unknown enemy launches dozens of IED attacks across Afghanistan. Can his identity be found out of the ashes? A Navy boarding team intercepts a suspicious freighter off the coast of Somalia. Are they friends or foes? A driver approaches the gate of a U.S. military post. Is she an employee or an intruder? There is a technology that can verify access, a technology that can distinguish friend from foe, a technology that can stop terrorists before they strike again. Biometrics, the science of identification using unique and unchangeable physical traits. Fingerprints, palm prints, iris patterns, facial recognition. Every time we send a ship out on a deployment, there's an opportunity to make a difference through biometrics. The enemy blends into the local populace. Biometrics really allows us to pull uh, apart those individuals that are not uh, supposed to be in that, in that populace. You don't need to be worrying what's inside the gate. And if you can biometrically vet and screen and further adjudicate a person to allow them access, you can further focus on the fight outside the wire. Biometric technology enables the Defense Department to verify personnel and identify unknown enemy threats. Between 06 and late 07 in Iraq, that's when biometrics became a game changer, an operational weapon system which allowed us to develop identity dominance. The DOD makes this happen with ABIS, the Automated Biometric Identification System. Biometrics is no good unless you have that database to, to bounce it off of. We receive a print in as, in as real time as possible, whether that's a latent print or a tin print of a known person, and we are able to bring that information in, it's searched in ABIS, and it produces results. The success of biometrics takes teamwork. Warfighters collect biometric data on the front line. Then it's sent to ABIS, where each new print, iris scan, or photo is compared with those stored in its database. When a match is found, examiners review, verify, and return the results to the warfighter, often in minutes, anywhere in the world. ABIS gives us more capability for the soldier on the battlefield and for the soldier on objective. When you're at the tip of the spear, that's what you need. With the high quality that we have, the fast turnaround time, that allows us to take action when we're in a situation where we have somebody. Our examiners are protecting the warfighter. I think that's the most exciting thing about what we do. The DOD also connects ABIS to other federal agencies, providing database access for missions like border security and criminal investigations. The same adversary that is building the IED in an area of operation is the same adversary that six months from now could be trying to cross our borders. We have captured some folks who did some very bad things in Iraq, and we got them. We're making a difference. ABIS is fast, accurate, and grows stronger with each new submission. We can handle uh, about 8,000 transmissions of data per day. I think as we start to realize the value of biometrics, we think we're going to be about somewhere between 25 and 30,000 transmissions per day. Whether on base or on patrol, all branches of the DOD realize the value and effectiveness of biometric technology. Biometrics is something that we're looking at beyond the scope of Afghanistan and Iraq. From a Marine Corps perspective, biometrics is uh, an enduring capability. Biometrics are gonna play more and more part in uh, Navy operations. Biometrics, what that allows us to do is really streamline our operations. It's a lot of bang for the buck. And as the Defense Department develops new biometric technologies, our forces will have even more powerful tools to protect the homeland. Anything that allows us to identify that individual uniquely will become a tool that we need to incorporate into our repository of capabilities. The future of biometrics is incredibly bright. Voice, DNA, gait, at a distance biometrics, something I never even dreamed of was possible back in 07 in Iraq. DOD Biometrics delivers success at home, at sea, and on the battlefield, where fingerprints from 32 separate IED attacks 
were matched to a previously unknown Afghan enemy combatant, leading directly to his capture. To date, the DOD biometrics team has helped capture hundreds of high-value individuals worldwide. Biometrics as a capability needs to endure. The department is going to have missions in the future that demand the use of that beyond those that we're using today. What biometrics gives us is the ability to separate friend from foe on the battlefield. And I don't think that that's a capability that we're gonna to wanna to lose in the future. The Department of Defense biometrics team, identifying enemy threats, enabling rapid response, protecting our forces and our nation.